I was back home, and everybody thought, why? Why are you going home? And I said, it's important to go home, to give back to the village what I received, free of charge. And so I'm there. So it's about sharing the resources, the blessings that we have. And I, it's not, it's important, it's not fun to be poor, but it's important that when I tell the kids, there are children sitting on the trees, and the trees, they are classroom because there's no school. When there's rain and whatever storm, no classes. You have schools where 10 children have to share a textbook, and every day they fight over that textbook. Beautiful furniture. There are children, they sit on the ground, right, right on the dirt, but that's how they have to go to school. You know, and so when you have all, the, all these good things, nice schools, nice parents, nice whatever, enjoy those blessings. But once in a while, if you can remember to pray for those who don't have that. And if you are moved by anything, to, you can save a life, you can help a child somewhere. Even in this country, I've seen hungry children in this country. So whatever they raise from this box, 25% of it stays in the diocese here to help people and children and people who are hungry here. Then 75% goes to overseas to help other poor countries. That is recognizing that there's poverty here, there's poverty there. And we, it's one global village and we need to support one another. So they, they are all available. She has a lot of them here. If anybody, if you feel like taking one, fine. If you feel like leaving one in the classroom, fine. If you leave, feel like taking one, leaving it on your dining hall table, fine. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. All right. I think uh, normally when the teacher, when you talk too much, they, they don't like you, so I better stop here. <laughs> Can I ask you, Louisa, in a prayer? Oh, yes. Um, <coughs> Okay, in the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. God our Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. We thank you for the gift of one another. We thank you for your blessings. Thank you for what we have shared with one another. And then um, give us your grace to learn and to be great students and to succeed. Give us the grace so that we can be compassionate to our brothers and sisters in this country and outside this country. We ask you to bless us that as we continue to live in your grace and do your work and do your will, we will grow in your love and service. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Thomas. Thank you. Thank you for all. Does anyone have any other questions? Any questions? For, for either one? For Mary? No. Okay. Thank you. I will leave you with, um, I think I have 25 rice bowls because that's how many commas in my grouping. So I'll leave these here. If any of you guys want to take one home, you can. Um, if you want to talk to your teachers and have them here at the school, that's fine. Um, if you call him Mr. Kanebenchu or Chris, um, he, um, I'm a prisoner at Our Lady of Grace, and so he told me if, if students want to do it individually, they can give him their box um, at the end of Lent, and he will collect, collect it with Our Lady of Graces. Um, or you can send the money directly to Catholic Relief Services. There's a website here, so if, if that's easier, um, you can do that. But in order for 25% to stay within the Archdiocese, it needs to be sent to the Archdiocese. I work out of the Office of Justice and Peace. And so we um, collect all the money and then we send one check to CRS and then the other money actually gets distributed within the five different regions. We um, look for parishes that have um, food banks or um, this year in our region, St. Joseph the Worker, I'm not sure if you're familiar, but they serve hot meals uh, for people that are hungry and so they, were rece they received a grant um, this year, $5,000 and so Every year, we look for different parishes throughout the five different regions of the LA Archdiocese um, to get grants for the money that's received from here. So, um, so you can consider that. Um, I'll leave them with your with your teacher. The the rest that are left, um, Mr. Kanevin, actually told me that there were more students 
from um, his teen group that um, Arlene and Grace that were interested in them, so they won't go to waste. But thank you guys for your attention. I realize it is kind of a um, big topic for the first thing in the morning. Um, so appreciate you guys being here and listening. I guess you had to be here. But you were very attentive. Yesterday, um, Thomas was at a school, right, um, at the end of the school day. And I think everyone was itching to leave. And so I'm really happy um, that you guys were so attentive this morning and, and listening to what he had to share. So thanks a lot. And um, good luck with making decisions about your future. I know that's a big thing when you're seeing. So thanks. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, I hope we've got about four or five months or three. How much? How many months left? Three, left? May three months left before they graduate. <laughs> 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 Good luck and success. Success in everything. Thank you. 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 Thank